Welcome to the Word Weaver podcast, a literary place in cyberspace where I share tangible tips, tricks, and words of wisdom to help you achieve your dream of writing a book. I'm your host, Louise Johnson, a writer and the author of Behind the Red Door. Let's dive into today's chapter. Hello, and welcome back to the Word Weaver podcast. It's been a little bit since I posted an episode. I think the last one was in May when I launched my first book, Behind the Red Door. So it's been a couple months, and I didn't intend to have such a long gap in between podcast episodes. I actually had a bunch queued up, but life took over. Some really big milestones have been happening in my personal life, in my personal professional life. So that kind of took precedent. And when big things are happening, I find it very hard for me to kind of like focus on all of the projects that go along with being an authorpreneur, quote unquote, all of the content. And I do love doing it, but just sometimes like the big picture items that really move the needle have to take precedent. And then in my personal life, Jeff and I unexpectedly moved. We actually bought a house, which we weren't planning on doing, but it kind of just came at a serendipitous time out of nowhere. And I don't know if you know anything about the real estate market in Canada, but it's pretty crazy. And we somehow got a bit of a deal, which sounds like an oxymoron when you're dealing with real estate, but we kind of had to hop on this opportunity and it's been nice because there's been a bit of a transition between our apartment and the house so we still have stuff there we can go back to it if we need to and we can do a, a slower move versus super hectic and I really want to furnish this house slowly I want to take my time and pick pieces that we really love and invest in but then the other part of my brain also just wants to move in, have everything set up, things out of boxes and make it feel like home. So I'm kind of like torn in between like taking my time. But yeah, I'm very excited to make this place feel like ours. There's a lot of beautiful natural light. Eventually, I am sure I will show you. There has just been a lot going on. And the reason why I want to hop on this podcast today, it's going to be a super short episode. I don't have a script, as you can probably tell with all of my rambles. I just have a couple bullet points here that I wanted to share, and mostly to introduce the new branding. It's very subtle. Nothing crazy has changed, but we have a new Word Weaver podcast logo. All of the new guest episodes are going to have a little bit of a different graphic treatment, and I am obsessed with it. I wanted something more streamlined, a little chicer, a little simpler, and not such bold, loud colors, which is really fun. But, and it, I still love the old podcast branding that I had. It was just a little bit disconnected with the tone of how I want the podcast to go. And it felt kind of juvenile if you looked at it from afar and knew nothing about it. This one, I feel looks like a cup of coffee. The colors are like a warm chocolate brown, beige, like a coffee bean kind of color. And that goes hand in hand with writing for me. I love coffee. I find it soothing. And yeah, so I'm just very excited to unveil that. And it feels in a way like I'm up leveling every category or section of my life right now and making it more me. In addition to the new graphic treatment, the new branding, we're also going to be introducing a visual component to the podcast. I still really love audio. There will be solo episodes where there's no visual component, but for the guest episodes, when I'm interviewing people, it felt like it was kind of missing because it's so cool that I get to talk to them, see their face, see their expressions on Zoom, or I use another program called Zencaster. And I wanted you to be able to see that as well. 
So I'm going to start to include that on my YouTube channel. If you prefer to listen to guest episodes, you can watch it there. Or if you really just want to stick to the audio, you can keep coming back and listening on your iPhone. You don't have to watch a video at all. It won't be very exciting because I can't have all these camera angles. It is a digital recording from their computer to mine. And then I just put it together so that I can upload it. The nice thing is that those episodes will be very real and raw because of the visual component. It is a lot trickier to edit and cut and splice the audio and then match it back up with the video. So for those, I'm going to keep my own life simple because it already takes a very long time to edit podcasts, do all the back end SEO, uploading everything. It I know it sounds maybe kind of simple, like, oh, you just come on here and talk. And I thought that it would be more like that, but really it's kind of tedious and I I love it. So that's why I keep doing it. But that was my hesitation with introducing a video component because I just didn't want to double the amount of work and take away from my actual job and what I should be working on, which is writing and publishing books. All of this stuff, like the podcast, the YouTube content, my Instagram, all goes hand in hand with the big picture of being an author and a writer. And I'm learning how to balance content creation, but I think that'll be a really fun addition to the podcast. And then that way I can also splice up the video clips and have snippets of them on IGTV. I do not have TikTok. I've been told I should get on TikTok and have little video clips there. Part of like the book talk community, I guess that's what it's called for the literary bookish minded users. So we'll see. I feel like I'm already stretched pretty thin with all of the platforms and things I have going on, but maybe I'll introduce a TikTok and I can repurpose some of the content from the YouTube videos and everything on there. So keep an eye out for that. I will also be adding the next few days to my website, a book club discussion guide, a couple fun Liz and Lou New York inspired recipes. So that's all free. If you have a book club who is selected behind the red door, you can go on there, get some questions and make it like a fun experience. You can also see if I'm available to join virtually to your book club. So that's a fun thing that has been going on. And there is a really big announcement that I think I will be able to share in the coming weeks, which is nice. I thought it might be a couple months, but it looks like I can share it with you sooner than anticipated. And I know that's such a tease. Nobody likes to be teed up like that. And then I can't actually tell you the big news, but it is related to Behind the Red Door. A lot of fun developments behind the scenes happening that will be unveiled very soon. I'm also working on the audiobook and the paperback, I believe will be out in the fall. So fun stuff going on there. I saw Behind the Red Door in Chapters Indigo in person for the first time last week, which was so exciting. I cried, it was so nostalgic. If you're from the States or elsewhere, Chapters Indigo is kind of like a Barnes and Noble. It's our biggest bookstore here in Canada. And when I was growing up, they had, it used to be called just Chapters before they merged with Indigo. I was part of the Chapters Kids Book Club, and we would re- read things like Judy Bloom or Jacob Tutu. And then we would come to the store, into the kids' zone, talk about the book, like a real book club with other. I don't know, eight-year-olds or nine-year-olds. And then sometimes we would put on a play and reenact different parts of the books we'd read. And I loved it. That was just all part of me being obsessed with reading, obsessed with books. So that was really special for me to walk into that store and see my own book on shelf. I've gone to a couple indie bookstores and seen it on display in the front of store. And it just blows my mind that it's out in the world still. It's been a couple months, less than two months, and it feels like it's just starting to take off. There was a couple delays with COVID. Everything has worked out, but the launch has exceeded all of my expectations, and I just 
still pinch myself with gratitude every single day. And if I do an interview and people are asking me about Elizabeth Arden, I'm like, oh, it's so crazy that you have read this, even though that was the goal all along. But I am loving it and also still working on my second book, Developments Happening on that front. And then like I mentioned in my personal life, we bought a house, so we've been moving and I'm getting married in a month. I don't think I've talked about that on here. And it's funny because you would think, oh, like a wedding, that's like the biggest thing on your plate. And it's really like the smallest portion of my thoughts or to-do list. And really because I already feel married to Jeff, I love him so much. And we chose to have just immediate family. We're getting married with 13 people at my parents' cottage. So that's been a nice way. We decided on that because of COVID and also because we're really not big on attention. And this year, we wanted to just focus on big career goals. Like for me, launching the book was almost more planning and thought that I had to put into it. But now that it's closed, it's a month away. There's last minute details that we're tying up. And we're also going to be taking kind of a mini moon before international travel fully opens up again and we can figure out a real honeymoon. I also recently road tripped out to Calgary, Alberta from Toronto with my youngest sister who moved out there for work for a little bit. And she needed a road trip companion. So I jumped in there last minute and it took us five days. Canada is huge. So we went across four provinces, Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, into Alberta. We had a great itinerary because of the border closures. We couldn't take the route through the U.S., which was okay. I I think it's a little bit shorter, but I was excited to be able to drive across Canada out west because now I have been to every province except for Newfoundland so I still have to go to Newfoundland but every province other than that and it was a really fun trip we listened to three audiobooks we had great chats it was great weather it was beautiful to see the country and it was funny I was still taking interviews for behind the red door on the road. So we would have to kind of stop and pull over while we had good cell service so I could make sure that the call didn't drop or anything. But yeah, it was a fun getaway after COVID and being kind of cooped up for a very long time and getting my sister settled in her new spot. We went on some great hikes. In a nutshell, those are just some big picture things that have been happening. I just wanted this episode to be for you and I to connect and to tell you that the podcast is fully back, rebranded, amazing guests coming. I will be dropping an interview in the next couple days, if not tomorrow, by the time you listen to this episode. And we'll be resuming the Word Weaver Wednesday podcast schedule. So at least weekly episodes. And if there are really exciting developments that I just want to share with you, there are might even be two episodes a week with a solo episode and an interview mixed in there. It's funny, somebody asked me recently like, oh, now that the book is out, do you feel like you can relax and kind of enjoy the fruits of your labor? And I wish I could say that was the case, but I feel like I'm even busier than ever and in a good way. A lot of people are also asking like, oh, when's your next book come out? Which I love that they even want to read my next book, but it's just funny. I'm trying really hard to linger in this in-between moment a little bit longer. I feel like we're always in such a rush to get from the last thing we did to the next thing we're going to do, and we don't really give ourselves that time to pause and sit in it in that in-between There's a lot coming up, a collaboration with Elizabeth Art and the Company, a giveaway with a really fun big brand, really amazing interviews on this podcast, more video content, and then I can't wait for the big announcement that I have been keeping in my back pocket and working on feverishly behind the scenes. So I'll do a proper podcast episode when that is live so you'll know what the hell I'm talking about and I don't have to keep teasing you. 
I hope everyone's having a great summer so far and you're able to see some loved ones more than before and just really take that time to be really kind and good to yourself. And I hope if you are listening to this and you're a writer, you're carving out some time in your days to make some progress on your manuscript and also enjoying some great beach reads. So that is all I have for you today. This was a short and sweet one. As always, the show notes are at louiseclairjohnson.com slash podcast. You can also follow us on Instagram at wordweaverpodcast. Until next time. Thank you.